Assalamu alaikum. In this video today, we will discuss a case based scenario. A case of pregnancy with anemia and positive hepatitis C. Patients often present with complex problems and ideally there should be a fetal maternal unit in every busy obstetric unit. Most obstetricians will however involve multidisciplinary teams to solve patient problems. The following is such a case. Sara is a 28 year old married for six years and currently five months pregnant. She is breastfeeding her 18 month old baby. She is five months pregnant confirmed by ultrasound. Her height is five feet two inches and her weight is 50 kilograms. She is complaining of lethargy and tiredness. The doctor has done two lab tests. The hemoglobin level is 8 grams per deciliter and is hepatitis C antibody positive. She had blood transfusion in her last pregnancy. No other investigations are available. Identify the clinical problems. How will you manage her? Sara is a young woman with many problems. We can count her issues as follows. Number one, she has had four pregnancies in her six years of marriage, which indicates non-use or inefficient use of contraception. The patient is underweight and will need dietary supplementation to improve her health during pregnancy. She has not received antenatal care so far. It appears she has had iron deficiency anemia for some time, but this has never been investigated and diagnosed. She must also have low levels of other nutritional elements such as vitamin D, calcium and proteins. Her hepatitis C antibody test is positive. This means further investigation is required to confirm her status vis-a-vis -vis hepatitis infection. In case she has an infection, this would be contributing to her symptoms. In addition, it is a risk to her health and the health of the staff involved in her labor and delivery. Before we move on and talk about the management, some notes for the viewers. Management does not mean treatment only. Management means a complete assessment to understand the problem and then to plan the treatment. For assessment, we must take a history, examination and further investigations to ascertain risk factors before proceeding with the management plan or the treatment plan. Moving on, let us start the management of this patient by taking a clinical history. This will identify other risk factors by systematically going through the presenting complaints history of presenting complaints, review of systems, past medical history, family history of cancer or hepatic disease in other family members, obstetrical and gynecological history, drug and history of allergies to drug and lastly social history. Along with the routine elements of history taking, in this particular case, we will also review her dietary habits and lifestyle to identify if her family is at risk of acquiring hepatitis C infection. After the history, 
we had to perform a general examination to look for signs of anemia and liver disease and also an obstetrical examination. A systemic examination will examine the abdomen for spleen, liver and other abdominal masses. An obstetrical examination will evaluate the size of the uterus and the presence of fetal hearts. After the examination, request the patient to have the following laboratory results. Repeat the complete blood picture with a peripheral lip film from a reliable laboratory. The blood indices will also help us to identify the type of anemia. Iron deficiency anemia will have a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, mean corpuscular volume and mean corpuscular hemoglobin. Megaloblastic anemia will have low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration but a high mean corpuscular volume and have hypersegmented nuclei. In addition, peripheral film will also identify anisocytosis, reticulocytosis and poikilocytosis. The table is to remind us about the difference in iron deficiency anemia, beta thalassemia and bone marrow anemia, aplasia, which are common causes of anemia. In addition to the complete blood picture, we will also send blood for total iron binding capacity, serum ferritin and hemoglobin A2. This level of testing will confirm the type of anemia. If the patient is diagnosed to have iron deficiency anemia, then the patient and her husband must be counseled about increase of oral iron and protein in the patient's diet. Oral hematinics are prescribed and hemoglobin levels will be repeated every fortnight to check progress. In case the patient is unable to tolerate oral hematinics, injectable hematinics can be prescribed. The patient has a history of anemia in the past and this is indicated by her need to get a blood transfusion previously. Currently, the patient is pregnant and pregnancy is a drain on a woman's iron stores as her requirements are increased. In addition to the pregnancy, she is also breastfeeding her 18-month-old child. The infant should be weaned off the breast and started feeding from a cup. Important point here to note is that in case the patient is hepatitis C infective and is cirrhotic, then treatment of anemia is very difficult. In addition to hematinics, patients will also require erythropoietin. The patient may have low protein levels which will further add difficulty in management. Secondly, after checking for anemia, we will do a complete antenatal testing, which will include urine DR, urine culture and sensitivity, hepatitis B surface antigen, blood group and antibodies, blood sugar testing and rubella IgG. Ultrasound scan will be done to identify any fetal anomalies and position of the placenta. Pregnancy will be managed according to the past obstetric history and the current findings. After this, we will then review her hepatitis C status. The first investigation to order is hepatitis C RNA. If the RNA is positive, it means that she has hepatitis C virus in her blood and she must have a quantitative and a qualitative test to identify the viral burden. Liver function tests are performed to identify the impact of the disease on the liver and serum albumin 
and protein levels will identify her protein status. If the hepatitis C RNA test is positive and she has active disease, then this patient has to be referred to the gastroenterologist for further management. After this, the couple should be counseled carefully and repeatedly about the importance of antenatal and postpartum care of the woman. Patients who have anemia will require extra care during pregnancy. The couple should be counseled for family planning and before the couple leaves the antenatal clinic, they should be given complete information about long-term contraception such as the copper IUCD and the progestogen implant. Ideally, in such cases, a tubal ligation must be performed. But considering the young age of the couple and considering the high mortality rate of under five children in our country, the couple can be successfully given reliable contraception and long-term contraception for giving more time about planning for future children. Make sure the husband and the wife understands the serious underlying health issues and the need for an extended break or a permanent break from having more babies. Some important notes for candidates. If a complicated case such as the one above comes in the examination, use an empty piece of paper on the examination table to make some quick bulleted points and mentally organize your thoughts before starting to give your answer. You may take more time in the management of anemia as it is a common problem seen in our country. With this, we come to the end of the video today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and press the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thank you and goodbye.